Looks kind of steep. Yeah, I think we'll stick to the path. Keep a lookout for the girl. We have to stop her. Don't see what we can do. We're not safe here. That's not changing anytime soon. Keep your eyes and ears open. Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Save me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw her delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Your suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the cause. Now I am not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Then you gotta protect your friend and speak out against her. The accusations, the executions, all that is down to her. You have to tell the truth. Yes, a sure sign of the devil. Let's hope you've done enough to stop that kid and help us get out of here. We'll see. Feels like I made a bad call. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? Nope. We never even saw her. Fuck. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way. We saw Andrew's double. Said he was gonna speak out against Mary. That she's just a malicious kid, not some witch finder. That can only be positive. I'm not sure it's the good news you think it is.
There's gotta be a way out. Maybe stopping that kid, ending the trials. I don't know. We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. Another theory was setting fire to a doll would get rid of Mary. And how did that work out? It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. Come on, let's take a look. Check this out. Hey! They're coming. You can't keep running. I'll make sure they'll find you. That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. been here for a long time. <laughs> now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this the court thanks Reverend Carver who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! I do not know which course to take. My conscience tells me I must speak out against Mary, but it weighs heavy on my heart to do so. You've got to tell the judge everything. That girl is evil. Everyone needs to know it. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in I'm Little I'm not Hope. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. 
Mary confessed to me all her accusations were false. She did not see what she claimed. There was no witchcraft. There were no familiars, no devils. All were just the imaginings of a child's mind. You understand the gravity of your testimony? Yes, George, I do. Very well. You may step down. Mary is to remain with me. Given your testimony, I feel the child must go elsewhere. The Reverend Carver will be Mary's new charge by order of the court. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? Yeah, we saw him. He told the judge that Mary made it all up. None of what she said was true. Okay, so now what? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. You agree with him? It went down just like he said. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. Hard to imagine that this place must have been something once. No, it's just bad memories, broken lives, and rust. You hear that? Right below us. We need to find a way out of here, now. That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Hey! Are you okay down there? It's over. He's gone.
That thing looks to have gone, but it could come back any time. We have to keep moving. I've seen this before. In the fog there. You see that? Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in the hole is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife! There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe! Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I'm found as infected with madness. Roy, you but saints, servants. We have to stop this. Come on! Help me! Look! There can be no more doubting. This is witchcraft! More stones! The devil must be crushed from within him! Do not flinch! The fate of little orb rests in your hands! We're screwed. There is no way out from this nightmare. We don't have a lot of time. Look, John! John, get away from it! I'm done running! Time for payback for Taylor and Daniel! Are you crazy? We gotta move! Come on, you fuck! I'm ready!
field, fucker! I think it's locked. Come with me! Don't move. Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burned down. Something here isn't right. You're gonna want to see this. This is for real? Angela and I were married.
What's that noise? My guess is the girl. We need to find her. <laughs> She's in here. What do you think you're doing? It's okay. Trust me. This isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Hope, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha. But it has always belonged to Mary, and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so! Liar! Now this tin, child, this creature of Satan has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Andrew, these people have lost their minds. This is collective hysteria, paranoia. We've got to intervene. Stop this somehow. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town, or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child know. of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. This Please guide me at this time. I seek your counsel. We have to stop this. The only madness is right here in this court. Carver, he's the evil one. We have been swayed by malice. The truth hidden from us, but not by Mary. Reverend Carver is the one urging us to believe in the devil. Be silent. This is all You'll his doing. You'll not deceive doing. us any longer. Your true purpose is plain to see. I will see this town purged of all evil. Listen to him. Carver's the one to blame. What must I do to bring little hope back into the line? I fear the Reverend and what he's capable of. You have to stop Carver. It's him, don't you get it? He's condemning Mary to take the heat off himself. I know what must be done here. Be still. What is the meaning of this outrage? What I have just learned sickens me to my core. There are serious questions which must be asked of you. How can a man of God conduct himself in such a way? Mary, your suffering is at an end. You are free to leave. Fool! Misled by a child! Do you not see what she is? The truth stares at you from the depths of hell, yet you see nothing! The devil's daughter has deceived you all! Not me! I see her! I see her! Satan's all! You will pay heavily for your crimes! I was one of the first to fall under your spell. Now all of Little Hope is mesmerized by you! I have not the words. Without you, I would be dead. You saved me. 
I shall remember you all, my dears. But I didn't save you. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. You made all the right moves. You called out the priest for what he really was and saved Mary. Why do I feel like I did nothing? Like none of it matters. We should leave. I thought I might find you here. <laughs> well, been through the trenches, huh? Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. Nothing but ghosts left here now. Free piece of advice. You stay out of that place. This is what you had. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. About 10 minutes down the road, there's a diner and got a working phone in it. Don't come back. Ain't nothing here for you no more. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay? 
okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. What the hell is going on in there? Get the hell out of here! I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in! Hey! They're coming. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. find you here. <laughs> Booping through the trenches, huh? Nothing but ghosts left here now. Free piece of advice. You stay out of that place. This is what you had. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. About 10 minutes down the road, there's a diner. I got a working phone in it. Don't come back. Ain't nothing here for you no more. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. Depends on what makes you happy, really. And you eventually found him. The bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. <sighs> Till we meet again. Maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. 
But we will meet again. At least one more time.